Hey everyone, my name is Dustin. Welcome to my channel, Nick Flippin' Chip. I'm really excited for you to be here today. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over about 20 items that sold over the weekend on eBay. Uh, let's get to it. So, going out today is 20 orders for a total of $790.80. Now, that's gross sales, of course. Um, there's just the shipping and fees, of course, your cost of goods and even taxes uh, taken out of that, but still not bad. Uh, it's an average sale price of uh, about uh, $39.54. I, I absolutely love this album. This is one of my favorite bands, if not my absolute favorite band ever, Ween. Uh, this is their first, uh, say, official release, uh, God, Ween, Satan, The Oneness. Um, came out in like 1990. They've been around since the mid 80s. Um, making just thousands of awesome songs. Not one of them sounds like the next or the or, or the last one. But anyway, this single cassette tape sold for yes, ninety nine dollars. No joke. It's just a really rare cassette. I've had this out for I don't know since nineteen ninety eight or something. So uh, wow. I've been a fan for quite a long time. I actually collect their cassettes. They're also rare and. Pretty hard to find. White Pepper, that one, oh my god, that's, uh, yeah, paid nearly, I don't want to say, $300 <laughs> for that. So anyway, yeah, uh, great band, I recommend checking them out. So this one, I'm not taking any chances with, um, $100 for the cassette, uh, I can certainly throw it in a box, um, <laughs> just to make sure it gets there. Um, safe and sound. So that's what I'm gonna do. Turn on the um, six by five by five here. Um, coming at you, fellow Ween fan. All right. So next one out is a always fun to play, test, and not so bad to ship. Uh, Guitar Hero. Um, this one's for the Wii uh, controller. Uh, I put it with a Legends of Three or Legends of Rock uh, Three game, and that sold for. 55 plus shipping. Shipping on a Guitar Hero of guitar is fairly easy. Um, all you really need is some bubble wrap, uh, maybe a couple different kinds, uh, or just, just enough bubble wrap, and two of the uh, 1095 boxes, which you can get free from Pulsar servers. Uh, once again, completely free. I'll just be putting a couple of these together, basically. Um, so if these ones, lucky enough, you can um, take the neck off uh, so you can make it a little bit uh, shorter, especially with the new um, postal uh, service rules uh, that are really a, kind of a bummer, but I don't know, we'll just have to buy, buy uh, our own boxes and ship UPS now if that's the case, but whatever, uh, I'll show you how to uh, get these in the box. Um, I mean, it's just kind of overlapping by just a few inches. So all we're going to do is we're going to take uh, part of this, um, cut it off, and we'll use that. So what I like to do is just kind of see where it would overlap. I need about uh, that much. See if you can kind of finesse that on there. to tape it up really good. Yeah, the strumming. Next going out are some Rollerblade Spirit Blade 2, uh, women's size 9. Nice little uh, soft boots, really great condition. Uh, sold for 30 plus shipping. Got a few sporting goods stuff down here. Uh, quite a few pair of rollerblades. Oh, I think I see them back there. I uh, got some vintage skates here. My favorite, the aggressive inline skates, which you want to be on the lookout for. Um, usually go for quite a bit more. So rollerblades are fairly easy to ship. Um, they don't need a whole lot of padding or anything, just as long as you got the right size box. I found that if you have a Home Depot next to you, like if you go there and take all of their different size boxes. They're so handy to have around for like a dollar or two a piece, you know. Um, of course, they're gonna say Home Depot on them, so 
that doesn't fit your uh, business image or whatever. You know, just order some uh, similar size or whatever. Really great to have a variety of boxes laying around um, so you can have a little more confidence in, in what you're sourcing. It's like, I think the biggest thing uh, stopping me from buying something is how am I going to ship it. So um, if you have the right box, um, you got plenty of uh, fill handy. These are uh, nice old scotch. I don't think they make these anymore, but I used these so many times that I had them laying around. So I have a nice dispenser for regular bubble wrap. Um, I have a bubble wrap maker, so I can make these like sort of bigger bubbles. And these are, like four by eight pads. And um, a little bit bigger ones to just fill up a lot more space. Yeah, so it uh, makes things easier to ship. Um, if you go to, um, say like a Home Depot, Menards, Lowe's, they always have a variety of boxes. Um, these extra small ones from the Home Depot um, fit so many things nicely. They will fit these uh, rollerblades perfectly. Uh, they will fit football helmets, lacrosse helmets. Um, they just fit so many, they come so handy and they're like less than a dollar, perfect. We'll fill that with some uh, heavy duty craft paper. Some of the bigger bubbles, a uh, nice coating of the craft paper. And I put a cardboard uh, piece in between just for so they're not scratching together or something. Um, and all that, and weighs just under eight pounds. So looks like uh, UPS Ground will be the cheapest uh, shipping option at 14.61 on that one. Um, priority mail here is um, 20 bucks. So we've got a lot of 28 Angry Birds. Uh, these I found in the bins. I literally filled up an entire IKEA bag full of Angry Birds. This is just one of the lots. Um, all of these had some sort of flaws, missing tags or something, um, some stains on them or whatever. Um, so I loaded all these up and uh, they sold for $79 plus shipping. Not bad. Something to keep an eye out for. Priority meal to that um, zip code. It's gonna be 1508. Got it hooked up to the Rolo here. If you do not have one of these or a thermal printer, I really recommend it when you are able to invest a little more. This is such a time saver. I mean, check this out. I'm clicking print now. Thank you. Next going out, we got a, a pretty sweet little strap back hat. That one sold for 19 plus shipping. Found that also in the bins. This is my uh, SKU system here. Uh, 322, that's just basically the date. So I got it basically last month. Uh, the date right now is um, April 11th. And hat 5 is the bin that I have them in. And I paid $1.70 for it. These nice uh, flat bins work really great for hats. So I can kind of fold them nicely and then they're not going to get all crushed or anything. This is one of the newer ones, I guess. That's a fairly easy to ship. I like to use an 8x8x6 eight eight by by box. Fits them perfectly. Yeah, so it fits really nicely in there. I like to keep it from moving around. a little bit right above the brim there, keep it from moving around, not, not squish it. Next going out we got a Transformers Bumblebee voice changing mask uh, that I picked up uh, a couple months ago. It's been sitting there for a little bit but uh, finally sold for 18 bucks plus shipping and that is in the B2 bin. There's the other uh, lots of Angry Birds that were from that same Good little haul. So I mean that's completely pure profit. Um, this some these little pigs. Uh, the, uh, I would say the pigs are probably the best. Like the ones with like the hats or the grandpa mustache one. I and mean, those go for like twenty dollars a piece. Um, let's see. What are we looking for? This is here, yeah. Mask here. There we go. Um, also, I know I'm gonna grab it while I'm here. Um, space saver. The other day at the at the bins and at my Goodwill bins, the um, electronics are only a dollar nineteen. So I got this for buck nineteen. There's no hardware with this, so um, I just had a little bit cheaper. 
um, but even still, um, sold for $37 plus shipping. Next going out, we got a Davigi guided meditation CD. Fill what is empty, empty what is full. Sounds awesome. Um, if it wasn't new, I probably would have listened to it. Somebody wanted it for $14.99, free shipping. I was offered free shipping on media because it's, of course, if you know, media mail is anything under a pound. It's not going to be any more than $3.19 wherever you ship it. So definitely uh, take advantage of that when you can and offer free shipping because that certainly helps. So for CDs, I like to um, give it a little bit of cardboard protection before I throw it in a bubble mailer. Um, and give it like a, call it the reverse box or like a cardboard sandwich or something, whatever you want to call it. Um, just gives it a little more protection. I'll do this with CDs, uh, VHS tapes, and also uh, cassette tapes. Put a little flap there so you can easily tear it open. Going on next, we got a vintage pair of Sony headphones, MDR-027. Um, they're the over-the-ear um, headband type. Got the vintage Walkman uh, logo on it, sold for 12 bucks plus shipping. The buyer contacted me a few times saying, please ship them ASAP because they um, need them for the Boston Marathon. So that's pretty cool. And we got a blender replacement parts. It's not so bad parting out blenders sometimes. If you get the Cuisinarts, the Ninjas, the higher end models, you know, they might be a couple hundred dollars, three, four hundred dollars to buy a brand new. Um, instead of buying a whole brand new one, I might as well buy a part, you know, for twelve dollars plus shipping. I just mark it uh, caution sharp blade. Um, you want to make sure that, you know, they're like, oh yeah, this is a got a blade on it so um, I'll open it carefully I hope and it'll just fit nicely in the box I don't think I need to put anything else in there okay next going up we got a Lenovo ThinkPad uh, power adapter I only picked it up for a few bucks and it sold for $21.99 next going up we got a scaled belt sander that I picked out of the bins uh, last month it looks like um, and of course the electronics are only $1.19 so Buck twenty-eight with tax, uh, sold for twenty-seven ninety-nine plus shipping, and that'll fit nicely inside of one of the Priority Mail shoe boxes, just right, like a glove. Next going up, we got a Taylor Made Burner uh, Golf Club head cover uh, for nine bucks, nine bucks <laughs> plus shipping. Once this really gets mangled somehow. Like somebody peels out on it on, on the, under the truck or something, might be damaged. And next going out is a Brita stream filter. Uh, brand new and sealed. Got to pick this up out of the bins. By weight that day, it looks like I ended up paying them $1.38 for it. And it sold for $8.99. Looks like free shipping. Not the greatest sale, but super easy to uh, list and ship and store, really. Double miller for that one. Fly Miller even, that'll work. Next going out, we got a softball glove, Easton Fast Pitch, right hand throw. Uh, I love selling so uh, baseball and softball gloves. They're just too easy. Um, this one sold for $27.99, looks like free shipping. I always do free shipping on the gloves just because you can very easily just throw them in a padded flat rate envelope. Even catcher's gloves, I fit first baseman's gloves in there, 13 inch gloves. Um, any glove I will fit into a padded flat rate uh, so far. Yeah, this one's actually a first class glove, so even cooler, so you just can't use the uh, priority mail envelope, so you just gotta use one that you, know, you buy. That is good to go. I mean, people literally beat their baseball gloves with baseball bats, so this is going to be just fine. Next we got another blender or a food processor part here in particular. Uh, the Cuisinart food processors, uh, when I see those, it's like sweet, That it's just easy money. Um, this one's DLC-8, uh, it's just the clear bulk, uh, work bowl. 
and that one was uh, 22 plus shipping. So I came in under two pounds. Next we got a Gelish Mini Pro 45 second soak off gel nail polish curing LED light lamp with timer. Uh, that I found in the bins last month and sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. So that was in the D2 bin here. Smile and the FASA. And oh, there we go. Hey guys, thanks for sticking with me. If I uh, found any value on this, uh, find any tips uh, that might be helpful uh, for you, please uh, hit like and subscribe. Thanks. And yeah, next going out, we got a genuine uh, Bose uh, Sound Dock remote control. Uh, also found that in the bins last month and sold pretty quick uh, you know 20 bucks free shipping I will usually offer free shipping on remotes too just because they're so light and easy to ship and store so that'll just go in a poly mailer with about four or five uh, layers of bubble wrap around it simple as that okay so next going out we got a baseball bat uh, Easton Surge I sold for 30 bucks free shipping um, we'll see how this turns out. The priority mail would have been $27.94 and basically you paid $29.99 plus for free shipping so I'd be losing money if I sent it priority mail. But thankfully I've got uh, some boxes um, ready for this and um, so we're gonna go to uh, UPS which is only $11.67. Awesome. For a baseball bat it's really Pretty easy, you just need some bubble wrap in the right size box and should be good to go. And then if you kind of bunch up the bubble wrap, it'll make a nice little thing for the box to grab a hold of. Uh, still need a little bit more on there. This is the Little Mermaid 2 and the Little Mermaid 3. Kind of like a double feature there. Um, pretty good for a DVD. 20 bucks for free shipping. Oh, and how easy are DVDs to ship? Um, store, list, everything. I mean, even at, uh, say, like a $10 price point, if you can get the DVDs for under uh, 50 cents or so, you're still making, uh, even with free shipping after fees, Still making about four dollars and fifty cents to five dollars uh, profit, and literally it takes. I mean, it's that easy to ship. Done. Storing the DVDs. Um, obviously, if you got some shelving like this, um, makes it better. Um, I store them A, B, C, but not completely alphabetical. Um, if I had maybe two or three times more, I might think of going completely alphabetical. But A, B, C works for this many. Last but not least, we got a Sony ACV60A handy cam camcorder powered after battery charger, genuine. <laughs> um, I've sold a couple of these actually. Um, let's see, this would be the third one. Sold one without the A, uh, V60, no A before as well. Uh, but those go for $22.99, free shipping. I'll throw those in a padded flat rate envelope. Uh, because of the location, I was able to, uh, for 13 extra cents, uh, throw it in a uh, regional rate uh, box A box, which um, has come in handy for me so many times. It saved me um, three, four dollars, I don't know, dozens of times. So um, definitely when you're picking up uh, your free USPS supplies, check out these regional rate box A's. But yeah, for an extra 13 cents, um, just able to give this a nice comfortable ride in a box instead of a padded flat rate envelope. So for my books, we got a gross total sales of $756.38.
The cost of goods on that uh, was $69.47. Uh, there's an average on that of about $3.16. And um, that's pretty high, actually, because I paid up for the Ween cassette tape. Um, I paid, uh, actually snagged that on eBay for like $30.50 or something like that. I got a really good deal on that. The eBay fees then, um, the selling fees were $105.23. And shipping. Uh, usually the biggest cost was $157.99, leaving us with a total profit of $423.69. Of course, you know, our favorite, um, the tax man, uh, like to take out 25% of that, which is going to be $105.92, leaving us with a total take home of uh, $317.77. So, not so bad for a couple of days over the weekend. I already did the work for it. It was just a couple of hours to package all that stuff and get to the post office. Well, that about wraps up today's video, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it once again. Uh, congratulations on your latest success, and until next time, uh, my hat's off to you.